They say what a man brings to a fight determines what kind of man he is. I brought a cigarette and a notepad. I've been on his trail for a few weeks, and now the stench is undeniable. He's the type of corrupt that begs a pause at the brilliance of his act. It was day 16, and I still hadn't broken a lead. The breadcrumbs led to nothing but an open sea. His files were clean. Too clean. It wasn't long before people started coining him as a superhero. The first of his kind. Not much longer after that, he was pinned a nickname. The Defender, they called him. I'd rather see your face spread across the front page. <laughs> it usually is. Not your usual schmaltzy headline. I'm thinking more, the defender, the worst offender. I never did like your writing, Dick. Always a cynic. You need to wake up, smell the fumes, because the defender is all the rage. <laughs> Such arrogance not seen in the common man, only in something more supernatural. Perhaps his superpower is the ease in which his ego drips from his drooling mouth. Dick Shelby. We got a problem here? Perhaps we do. I just haven't got to the bottom of it yet. The Defender? Don't waste your time, Dick. He's Wellington's finest. What's the problem? Couldn't afford a tape recorder? No, I just prefer to let the words speak for themselves. Are you working with the Defender Officer? No. Do you know where this he was... This interview is over. Back off the Defender. Or she might find someone tailing you. That's right. You're not as sly as you think. And as a side note, you might want to stay three cars behind. In a matter of 10 seconds, the case turned from futile to promising. You've been poking around hills and shadows too long, Mr. Shelby. Those hills and shadows might just find me the break I need, Miss... Bobby Young, police thug turned city icon. Ring any bells? Miss Bobby Young? No, the man. The superhero you've been chasing. The defender is Bobby Young? A cop? Tell me, what have you got? As record show was a cop. Young Bobby Young was your classic dirty cop. Bullying confessions, brutalising victims, planting evidence. Do we really need to talk about the boring specifics? My job is all about the boring specifics. This investigation is not about your job. Wife dies in husband's arms? You know more than you let on. It's my business to know, Mr. Shelby. You see, you're not the only one with the vendetta here. The whole affair with the police and the superhero is merely a bid to hide the dark underbelly of the Wellington police force. Do you remember those headlines? Police brutality? You wrote them. Now, the same actions against suspects seem purely okay, due to donning of tights and cheesy one-liners. What comes next, Mr. Shelby? We have to end this. We? Oui. Take it as a proposal, or an act of revenge, whatever way you want. The end result still remains the same. Kill Bobby Young, kill the Defender. You don't need to do this, but the truth is, with Bobby dead, the public can see the police's corruption for what it really is. But if you do this job, I will exchange information about Bobby with you. I'll give you a day to think about it. This is my card. 
Code name, Felicity. Your name? One of them. Bobby Young. A bad man put on a pedestal of praise and worship. People idolize him. The police exploit him. There wasn't much to think about. I wanted to kill him when the offer hit the table. I only needed time. Time to prepare for when I'd pull the trigger. I'll make sure the last thing he sees is the headline that ruined my life. May 16th. Wife dies in husband's arms. Do you remember, Bobby? Do you remember that that was the night you apprehended those two thugs, whose only crime was tagging derelict buildings? Yeah, the papers wrote it differently, didn't they? Cop killers, they called them, and the piece was written hours before the event happened. You walked past my wife, Bobby. You walked past her and ignored her while she died, just for the glory of the headlines. Well, my quest for vengeance has been satisfied. The city mourns the loss of their protector. Although he was just a corrupt cop, what he symbolized was important to the people. They need someone to bring hope and peace when all seems futile. They need a new breed of superhero. And I think I know just the guy.